going on guys? TTRX6 here, back for another third party Legends review sponsored by the legend himself, Robert D, who's letting me borrow all these things still. And uh, yeah, these are the uh, Iron Factory uh, Dotson Brothers. It's obviously Prowl, Blue Streak, or Silver Streak, whichever one you saw them as, and Smokescreen, uh, all in like a Cybertronian form. Uh, they have all these accessories, all these accessories here. And uh, I'm not entirely sure which ones came with which because he gave me just all of them together. Uh, so if I do have a color scheme wrong or something like that, pardon me. Um, but they have this incredible set of play value. So this is our Silver Streak. This is like the base form, basically, you could consider it. Uh, everyone has one that looks like this. Um, and then they have all these extra parts you can add on. Here's Prowl with a couple parts. I have like the, the front bumper and like uh, kind of like splash guards on them and then here's smokescreen who's just got like everything on them the front bumper the splash guards uh a new cockpit piece with these wings which uh in the event you want to do that to prowl you can take this off here and it just it's a simple swap just real simplistic and i mean you can take these and you could you know fold them down like this as opposed to tucked in uh, to give it a different look. So it just gives you all these interesting options. This one kind of looks like the Tumblr now uh, from Batman with a ton of weapons on it. Um, they do give you like a shield. I'm not sure if this came with Prowl or someone else. Uh, we have a very Optimus Prime looking gun. Uh, we got two missile pods and these were actually attached to uh, Blue Streak or Silver Streak when I got them. Um, so you can go ahead and arm him with those if you want. Um, He's got guns. These ones came with Silver Streak, I'm pretty sure, because uh, of a different color. Again, more Optimus Prime guns. So I assume everybody got one. You got these little, like, exhaust pipe things that can just peg right onto the arms on the side, or there'll be wrist blasters later on. Yeah, um, here's the, the mud guards. They just kind of peg in just like this. Now, So I love the mix and match playability of these guys, but honestly, if I was going to use... Uh, any of this stuff on there at the very least I would have these on and we'll see why when we get to robot mode So I'm gonna take this off just for now um, All this stuff can be done with it still on but I just want to show you the, the Transformation to robot mode on like the base form uh, and real quick Before we do that just so you can see here's the uh, the bumper which I do think looks better with the bumper Can it fit the other way? No, it can't fit the other way so that only fits on there one way. And I do think that looks better. But let's look at just the base form. Okay. So, to transform it, we rotate the legs out. We take the foot here and swivel it around. And then it'll flip on in. And then we can swivel it around a bit more. And there's like a detent on there. So you know when you're swiveling it, We've clicked into place, we've now cleared that, and we can move it back forward. And that does the feet. We'll go ahead and separate these. Uh, this little piece can come up so we can get some waist articulation off of this guy. Uh, separate the arms, and then bring, bring this down. And there's like your core robot without any of the extra accessories on him. Uh, and the reason that I would not use any other cockpit besides this one is because... When this one is in place, you end up getting these to spin around here. And look at that. You got the door wings. And you got the shoulder missiles. And that is perfect to me. So the very bare minimum I would have is that because I think it looks good. So let's get the rest of them to a robot mode. And since they're in various states of having pieces on them, you can kind of see the difference. We'll go ahead and give the guns and I believe Robert had these just pegged on here just to make them look just a little bit more ridiculous and I'm fine with that. So let's get the other ones to their robot mode and we'll take a look at them a little closer. Yeah. So obviously they're all the same. Uh, here is smoke screen and we have pretty much every piece of armor on him. Uh, here's Prowl. He's got his stuff too. Um, he doesn't have any of the guns and then we got the more base form uh, blue streak, silver streak, right here, uh, who has this real stunning silver paint on him. I, I gotta give him credit for that. 
Uh, so let's look at the articulation. The head is on a little ball joint here. Uh, the shoulders are on a little ball joint plus the swivel there. So good range of motion. Ball jointed elbow, no problem there. Uh, as I said, if you lift this piece up, you do get the waist swivel, ball jointed thigh, the thigh swivel, the hinge joint on the knee that gets you more than 90 degrees, and then coming down to the foot, it is uh, also on a little ball joint, but the ball joint is on this part, um, so it's a little bit difficult to manipulate. It's easy to get the forward and back, but the side to side is a little problematic, but it is there. So overall, yeah, if you are into the Cybertronium mode, uh, these guys are pretty awesome. Uh, I think you'll enjoy them. Uh, I'm more into the actual G1 alt modes. I prefer the, the cars versus the Cybertronian thing. Um, so if I was getting the Legend skill, I'd be more looking for the cars. But these guys are definitely a lot of fun, and if you don't mind the, the Cybertronian mode, then I think they are well worth picking up. So once again, thanks to Robert D. This is T2RX6. I'll see you next time.